Today, I'm gonna to show you how to apply graphics and change your colors in Photoshop. Hello and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and today we're going to show you how to apply graphics from one image onto another and how to extract graphics and change their colors. This is super useful anytime you want to take a graphic from a two-dimensional image, composite it into a three-dimensional image, or just combine them in different ways. Let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop. So here we are in Photoshop. You guys can download these and follow along. I want to take this heart graphic and I want to put it into this image. And then I want to take this text that we see here and actually put it above the heart graphic and make it white. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it. We're going to take this graphic here. We're going to go to our move tool and click and drag from one image to another. You can see we have this graphic. Let's hit F for full screen. Now, in this case, we have this heart image. And if I want to just take the heart and basically apply it onto the background and get rid of the white background, I can do that with a multiply blend mode. If you have a graphic on a white background, it's really easy. Just go from your normal blend mode right over here. Just go right down to multiply. And that's going to get rid of the white background. And you can see I could just put it wherever I want. Now, if you notice very, very subtly, I have just a little bit like as I move this around, you're going to see the edge like or the border of this background. That's because the background wasn't actually pure white. So you can see the corner right there. It's very subtle, but you can see it. So all you have to do here is go to your layer. Just hit controller command L for levels. OK, levels. Or you can just go to image adjustments and then over here to levels. OK, either one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my white point. You can either just click and move this guy for the white point right over here, or you can just take your white eyedropper and then click right over here on your image, and then it's going to move your white point. You can still go ahead and move that. Basically, it just makes more of your image pure white. And in this case, you can see it's going to completely get rid of the background. So let's hit OK. There's just the before. You can see it's visible there. And here's the after. You can see now it's perfect, right? Like I can move this around. I don't see any of that background at all. OK. That's step number one. Now let's go ahead and transform this. I'm going to hit Control or Command T. We're just going to transform this to make it a little bit smaller, just to make sure it fits like in, you know, in this little uh, document message thing that we have here. OK, that looks pretty good. And we're going to hit Enter. Now, this already looks pretty cool to share love, not hate. Like, I, I like that. But what happens if I want to extract this uh, original messaging, the share love, not hate, and I want to make it like the background color? OK. So we can do that in a few different ways. We, we got some fun here. First thing we're going to do, let's go ahead and make this heart invisible. OK, and I need a way to select this text. Now, because it's black on a white background, I can select it pretty easily. All I have to do is go to select color range. So let's go ahead and go to our background. We're going to go to select and then down here where it says color range. OK, select color range. Now, as I move this over here, you're going to see my selection preview. Yours might be set to none by default. OK, you can still click and drag around this and you'll see it over here. I like to set my selection preview here to grayscale. Now, wherever you click, it's going to turn white. OK, and that is basically what's going to get selected. So you want to click on your text. OK, the light areas get selected. The dark areas do not get selected. And then you have this fuzziness slider. So you can bring this to the left or the right like this is going to select less. OK. And this is going to select more. And it's selecting based on color, right? So I want to select as much as I possibly can. There we go. That looks pretty good. You can see share, love, not hate. It, it's going to be light on a dark background. Again, light in this mode for select color range means selected. Dark means not selected. All right, let's hit OK. So now we can see we have a selection. Of course, it selected the text, but it also has selected everything else that's dark in the image, like the shadows and stuff like that. So I need to basically just figure out a way to paint just where this text is, OK? And you can do that in a couple of ways. Honestly, the easiest way, let's just create a new layer by going to the layer panel and creating a new layer here. Easiest way to do this really is just hit B for the brush tool. Just go to your brush tool and then go ahead and choose your color. I'm just going to go all the way to white. There we go and hit OK. So you can see I have white as my foreground color. I'm going to make sure my opacity and my flow are both set to 100%. And then I'm just going to paint right over here on top of this, OK? There we go. This is just the easiest way to do it. I already have my selection active. I'm just painting white over top of this. There we go. And now we have on a new layer, we'll just have this text in white. So I just go to deselect right over here. And then look at this. I can just move this. I'll grab my move tool here or hit V for the move tool. And then look at this. We have that exact text and we can put it wherever we want. You can see if I put it over here, it's like, OK, cool. We have that text. It's on a transparent background. Super easy to do, right? 
Now, I have this heart here, and what if I want to take this, okay, I want to bring my text, I'll just call this text, text, there we go. I want to bring this text above my heart, okay, so you can see, yep, it is in fact above the heart, pretty cool. Um, but the next thing I want to do is I want to get rid of this original, you know, dark text, right? I just want to get rid of this text. Really easy to do, especially with AI. So let's just go back to our background layer. We'll grab our regular uh, lasso tool. You know what? Let's use the new selection brush tool because why not? It's super great and it re works really well with uh, generative fill AI. So let's go to the selection brush tool. If you haven't used it, it's really easy. You just basically paint anywhere you want to be a selection. So I, you can use your open and close brackets to make your brush larger or smaller. And I'm just painting over here. There we go. Fantastic. Da, 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 da. Perfect. So anywhere that's painted is basically now a selection. And then you just go in your contextual taskbar, click on generative fill, and then click on generate right here. And it'll just know that you want to get rid of that. Okay. So obviously you got to get rid of it on the original image. And now there's something left over here. I don't know. Maybe he drew on the other side of this as well. You could kind of see some other text there. I don't know if you saw it. It was very, very subtle, but we just generative fill that out also. All right, cool. So basically deleting anything in Photoshop is now just incredibly easy. Okay, cool. So we have this generative fill, like let's go check out our layers. We have our background, these generative fill layers just to get rid of the original text. Okay, and then we have this heart and then we have this text here that we put right above the heart, share, share love, not hate. Let's hit Control or Command T and we're just gonna scale that down. And now I can put this like inside of that heart, which is pretty cool. So we can see I was able to extract that from the original. Now. It, there's another cool way to do this because technically this text is just white colored text. Now let's go ahead and show you how to change the color of this graphic because that's part of the title of this video and what we said we would do. So now that we have this graphic on just its own layer with the transparent background, I can literally just double click right here in the gray area. Boom, double click right there and I get layer style, okay? You can also go up here to layer, down here to layer style, okay? And then we're just going to go to where it says color overlay. Okay, so either way you get to it, as long as you're in layer style, just click where it says color overlay. And then you can just choose, you know, your color here, just click there. And then you can choose using this slider. Or of course, you have your eyedropper, which allows you to kind of choose around your image. And you can actually choose things from your photograph. And then you could you know, say, let's make that a little bit lighter. Okay. So that's kind of a cool thing that you can do. And then your effects here with the color overlay, you can turn that off or on at any time and you can double click right here into the color overlay and get back to it and then, you know, change this, change this color as you want. You know, this is just a really cool way to change colors of graphics. Once you have the graphic cut out, this color overlay is fantastic. Now, another really great thing that you could do in this case, because uh, let's say I want this share love, not hate to just look like the background paper. What you can do is like right here where I have my layer mask, I can hold control or command and click on that layer. Sorry, I said layer mask. There's no layer mask here. It's just a layer. You can hold control or command and click on that layer and it's going to select the contents of that layer. Look, when I make it invisible, you can see it's still selected. Okay. Now, the cool thing that I can do here is I have this layer one, which is just a heart. If I hold alt or option and click on my layer mask icon here, okay, boom, it just inverts the layer mask, basically. You're gonna see now, basically what I did is I have this heart, but here on my layer mask, I'm just basically telling the heart to be invisible where the text was, okay? And now the cool thing is I can take my heart and my layer mask for the heart and I can unchain link those. So I can move the heart around, there we go, and that stays visible. The reason why I'm doing this, uh, rather than just adding the text on there that's like pure white or something, it's very subtle, but basically what it's doing is it's making this text invisible where the heart is. So the cool thing about that is like you can see there's a shadow. It's very subtle here because it's, you know, like obviously, uh, you know, it's it's just incredibly subtle. But if I bring it up here, you can see it's basically just hiding this heart graphic wherever I have this layer mask, right? But instead of just being white text, it's actually just hiding it. So it makes the composite look more realistic, right? Like, let's just say if I just get rid of that layer mask and make this back pure white, if I put this up here, you can see it just looks like white writing uh, above the heart, you know? But now with this layer mask, because it's just the layer mask, again, is hiding the heart in that area, 
it's not just white up there. It's literally just showing through to the original photograph, which in this case, because we have a composite, it just makes it a lot more realistic. Like you can see the shadows and the highlights and stuff like that. Um, it's just a kind of a cool bonus added effect that just looks more realistic uh, rather than, you know, just this is just, you know, white. There we go. And it's like, okay, it might look good there, but as soon as you put it right up here, it's like, okay, that doesn't, you know, it, it doesn't look like this white is part of the heart graphic that's part of the paper. It just looks like the white is over top. You can see it even over top there. So anyway, just another cool way to do it with your layer mask, okay, instead of, uh, you know, just white text. I'll show you how to do that one more time because I feel like I went over that a little bit quick. So here's basically, it's extremely easy to do. So just go to like your text, your graphic, whatever you have, as long as it's, you know, has a transparent background, just hold control or command and click on that. Okay, there we go. And zoom in, you can see now this is a selection. So whatever you have on this layer just turns into a selection when you hold control or command. Okay, I can just make that invisible. You can see this uh, selection is still active. And then I'm going to just go to this heart and then you can click on the layer mask icon. Boom. And then I'll just invert the layer mask. Before I hold control or command and clicked on the layer mask, because all that does is make an inverted layer mask. But you can see, like, if you just click on your layer mask by default, this is what it's going to look like, which is still pretty cool. But if you click on your layer mask and hit control or command I or invert that layer mask, it's just going to make sure that the text is invisible and the rest of the heart is visible. And then, you know, I can move this both at the same time. But if I unchain link it, now I can click on just the text and I can move just the text, which is cool. Or I can click on just the heart and move just the heart and the text is going to stay in the same place. So a lot of really cool things you can do with text and graphics and changing colors and layer masks. I hope you had fun and learned something in this video. If you did, give us a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Let me know in a comment right down below what you'd like to learn next. And if you want to get more free tutorials, all you got to do is click on that subscribe button. Thank you so much. I will learn you later. Bye, everyone. <laughs>